Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca, Dances with Pitbulls. It's Crazy Quilt Friday. We got we got a lot of different things to look at, but this is something I want to do for the red and black quilt. Okay, I have these ties, and let's just go ahead and cut them. Trust me, I'm a professional. And what I want to do is figure out, because this is going to go in the middle of my personal quilt. Okay, ignore this part. <laughs> Cause yeah, just, just do it. Just do it. Don't question me. Just do it. So these will go. Do you see, do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> My camera's way up there. So I'm building out this star shape, or I don't know, starburst. And it will be in the center of my quilt and it will be cool because I say it will. It just looks bad right now. <laughs> I have one more. This one. Yeah, I'm pleased. Okay, so I wanted to make sure. Let me take this off of here. Okay. I think it's going to work. And who knows, I may find some other ties to go with. Of course, that will not be there. But yeah. It shall be interesting, I say. All right, on to the next. So here's another way I laid it out. Of course, I would need a bazillion more ties. I don't know, unless I tighten it up a little. But anyway. The ties, the ties, the ties that bind. Here are the two blocks. This one's all red. This one's red and black. I have to, I'm going to do like, then I'll do an all black, you know. I'll just alternate, do a pile of all red, do a pile of all black, do a pile of mixed red and black. So, yeah, it's going to be fabulous. Come on. I mean, really? And I'm sorry I'm not going to do a bunch of embellishment, but this is a bed quilt. You don't want a bunch of beads and stuff on your bed quilts. Trust me, <laughs> I'm a professional, I know. <laughs> People, well, how are you going to wash it? You're going to be really careful with it. And you're going to vacuum it. And you're going to like brush it and spot clean it and whatever. You're not going to throw it in the washing machine. 
No, I refuse to let you throw it in the washing machine. If you do, don't come crying to me. I looky. The wall hanging is at the almost done stage. Jane, thank you for your dress. Janice, your black velvet is going on the red and black crazy quilts in the same position as a border. Once again, I did not get them in the order that I planned, but say la vie, it's too late now. I'm going to take this to the art show as an unfinished project, and I am just super, super pleased with it. I'll take some close-up pictures and put them so y'all can see. Uh, it looks to be, where is my, one, two, it's three feet across, how about that? So three feet square, actually, give or take. So yeah, it was worth it. It'll be even more worth it when I get it all the way finished. We gotta find the back. Oh, I found the most beautiful, beautiful upholstery fabric at uh, Hobby Lobby yesterday, but I was just, oh, do I wanna spend the money? But I think I'm gonna get it. Oops, sorry. Because it was, it was on clearance anyway, but uh, yeah, we'll get back to that. But yeah, whoopee, yippee. So here is the quilt that will be going in the permanent collection of our office in the new conference room. I am not going to be able to finish it tonight. I'll just hang it tomorrow for the art show and then I'll finish it later. But look at the cool quilted fabric I got at Hobby Lobby. And it was only maybe six fifty six dollars and fifty fifty cent a yard and i need to go back and get some other colors not of that but all their upholstery fabric not all of it a lot of it was on sale and it makes such great quilt backs so anyway Yes, I like it a lot. Okay, the last part of this update. I found this lace upstairs in a thing. This is knitted. And this is going to go on my daughter's quilt of which I now have 35 blocks. Uh, not all of them embroidered, but a lot of them. Plus these. I am going to take them to the art show and leave them out as works of, it works in progress. 
some of these I have had for a long time. Oh, I wanted to tell you about this one. This was one of the first doilies I ever made because I like to jump in and do hard things. <laughs> well, it's coming apart, as you can tell. But also, I don't know if you know there's a right side and a wrong side to crochet. This is the right side. It's smooth. This is the wrong side. It's bumpy. Somehow I got this turned around and I put the the outside edge is upside down. And I know only truly OCD people would probably even notice that, but I always did. But it started to come unraveled, so I'm going to just go ahead and take it apart and use it on my daughter's quilt. I don't like that. That shouldn't be like that, should it? Yeah, I guess it does. Okay, it's all right. Everything's fine. So, because why shouldn't she have a part of history? And what am I going to do with this if I don't? I mean, come on. This is a collar. Somebody was talking about collars. I don't think people wear them. I would just go ahead and cut them up. This one needs iron first, though. Maybe I should iron it. So anyways, that is Crazy Quilt Friday. I hope I didn't confuse you too much <laughs> with all my different things. My different things go this way. Okay. I'll see you later, people. Love ya.